Hey guys, KevinK89 back with another video, and welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2 online gameplay. And uh, today, we have got Bespin. So, uh, Patch 2.0 has just released yesterday, and uh, Bespin returned as a retro map from Battlefront 2015, which is awesome. I love Administrator's Palace from Bespin. So, uh, also, Jetpack Cargo returned. So in, in this video, I'm going to feature Jetpack Cargo on Bespin, Administrator's Palace. But, uh, why would Jetpack Cargo return if it was just in the game not too long ago? Alright, here we are. Ooh. Dude, guys, just look at this map. This is so nostalgic from Battlefront 2015. I just remember playing this game so much when I was in... When I was younger, well... When I was in middle school, but now I'm in high school with Battlefront 2, so, uh, it's, uh, a little bit nostalgic, which is cool. But just look at this map! It's awesome that it didn't really change that much, and the lighting in here changed. Just look at this! Ah, Bespin. Good old Battlefront 2015 Bespin. You get this guy. Psh. No, you don't! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Oh god, that's scary. Oh god! Yeah, let me take off the jetpack. <laughs> Yikes, that was scary. Wait, where's where is the cargo for our, in this map? Hmm, was that a, was that there before in Battlefront 2015? I don't remember. Just look over there. Do you think it was there? Comment below if you remember. But, uh... Oh, jeez, I almost jetpacked off the map. Hey, thanks, dude. Thanks for stealing my kill. That's just great. But that's awesome that we got Administrator's Palace for Bespin for Jetpack Cargo. But, um, I don't mind Jetpack Cargo returning, but it just wouldn't make sense for them to add it and take it out of the game again, which, um, I know it says it's limited time again, but, uh, if this mode is well liked, just keep it in the game as, as a permanent game mode, but, uh, I actually kind of don't care about Jetpack Cargo too much, I mean, I don't mind them keeping it as a limited time game mode, if it's one of those game modes that you want to keep to be, uh, to be limited time. But let's say if they add a new game mode that they think adding limited time is a good idea for, but is not. Such as Conquest Mode. Conquest Mode. If they ever added Conquest Mode back from the, the original games, then that has to be a permanent game mode. Or else people will get pretty mad if Conquest Mode is limited time. But uh, Conquest Mode is my number one game mode I want to return. From the original games. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. Hey, what the heck? The screen went black. Hey, I think that's a glitch. Start again. Alright, here we go. So I've heard in this patch that, uh, there was a lot of, that a lot of bugs came with it. Such as, people are saying the blaster heroes are too slow. I'm like, really? How did that happen? But I never really checked it out enough. Gosh darn. So, uh, I don't really know if the, um, I haven't tried the Blaster Heroes out my, for myself, or, um, if it's buggy or not, and people are saying that it's laggy, or the lag has been really bad for the, since the patch. <clears throat> but I believe that because every time I get a patch for this game, I get, I do tend to get screwed from really um from uh lag sorry i stuttered there or gosh darn gosh that is hard i don't know about this map for jetpack cargo though and no one's even scored a point for the cargo what's going on here and nothing really changed much about the best spin map <laughs> 
itself, which I'm quite happy about. I'm glad it didn't change, because if it did, then it would it could ruin something for someone. You know what I mean? Ah! What? Ah, oh, that's... What a jerk. Varth Dater? <laughs> Backwards Darth Vader. You think you're so slick, dude? Let me go get ya. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought I saw someone there for a sec. Alright, let's watch out. Come on! Ugh! I saw a stormtrooper there, though. All right, come on, there's got. Ah! <laughs> Get him! But I'm quite happy Jetpack Cargo is back because I liked it in the pre, in when it was added. But uh, I didn't like Tatooine, but I'm happy with Bespin. So Bespin Jetpack Cargo is uh pretty nice, and uh, it's nice to have another map for Jetpack Cargo for once. Besides Moss Eisley, when it was back in February when they added the limited time jetpack cargo for only Tatooine, which kind of stunk because that map was just too small. I mean, people love Mos Eisley, but I like Mos Eisley, but uh, I just um not the biggest fan of it. I mean, the map is too small, and uh, I hope we get Junglin Wastes or a Tatooine map that is not in Mos Eisley to come back from Battlefront 2015, such as the Jawa Refuge, Raider Camp, and I already mentioned Junlin Wastes, or Dunes maybe, but uh, I want to see Junlin Wastes the most, because that'd be a good one to bring back. Guys, get him! Yeah! Watch out! Oh, that's just great. Gosh darn! Darn. The rifle version of the rocket jumper, why not? We're gonna do the rifle. Alright, let's go. But what on earth? Look at this! No one has even scored a single point! There should be a time limit for jetpack cargo. Because that is a little bit of an issue from the last game, or the... Oh, that's just great. Our objective is all the way over there. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> go! Go, 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 go! Oh, that's just great. I'm so dead! Yep. Ah. Gosh, my team is so useless. They're not helping out at all. We have eight players. Why isn't anyone helping to get the cargo? Are they lost in this map or something? If you guys are lost in this map, then some you haven't played Battlefront 2015, have you? <laughs> Am I right? It's kind of true. Uh, ah, come on. Thanks, SD44C, dude. Well, that's just great. Let's spawn again as the A280 version with the rifle. They should add new, um, wep- or they should allow you to change your weapon. Like, for the rifle class and the pistol class. That's just great. Uh Don't you dare! <laughs> what? Yes, I gotcha! Oh! No! <laughs> Look at the map! The stairs are glitching over there! Oh, that's just great. Come on, though. Just. Why can't we score a single point yet? Come on, guys. There's no reason to. Well, there should be at least one person on the team defending the. Defending the base or the the place where the Imperials are supposed to score, but our priority is to Score a point score three points, and then we win the mode. Oh, that's just great cargo about reset Ah, Where is it at? It's over there. I Don't know about the lighting in this area though. The lighting is different compared to Battlefront 2015 But just this map is nostalgic and I'm really happy it returned. But in the meantime, I can... My predictions of maps that I will think will return are Sorrel Subcentralplex from Sullust, or the Sullust maps have the high... probably have the highest chance of returning because Sullust is not a multiplayer map in Battlefront 2. 
and it was in Battlefront 2015, so I can see them bringing back uh, Sullust, like Soro Sub Centroplex, like I said, for Walker for Galactic Assault Im and Imperial Hangar for the smaller game modes. Same as Sulfur Fields. And uh, don't forget about the DLC maps from Sullust. We got the pipelines and the refinery. Oh, and also Tatooine Jabba's Palace. So Jabba's Palace is another Tatooine map that I would like to see return. Besides the non moss Eisley Tatooine maps. I just really hope we get Jabba's Palace. Well, I mean... It's, I don't want Java's Palace now. I just want my Clone Wars content. Because the Clone Wars content is going to save the game. Oh boy. Wow, they just don't want us to score, do they? Where's it at? Hey, get the cargo over here. If you guys don't remember, Bespin had a... Ex the Bespin DLC in Battlefront 2015 had the game mode called Sabotage. And I remember this area specifically was um, the final phase on the Administrator's Palace map in the game mode Sabotage. Which was a fun game mode, but uh, it's really stupid how that mode, for the Rebels you kind of want to lose, or no, for the Imperials you want to lose. But you should never want to lose in a game mode, just so you, the Empire can get their heroes. That's honestly kind of stupid. But that's sabotage. Oh, that's just great. Ah, darn. This is getting hectic. This game mode is hectic. I just hope that it gets just eventually get the game mode as a permanent mode. Because I don't see the point of adding modes and then removing them all the time. Which kind of is a bit stupid, to be honest. Ooh. Direct hit! Ooh. Careful there. Oh, come on. Our team just can't get the cargo over here, can they? It's over there. Hey, guys, hurry up! Oh, man. Just hearing the cloud cars go, it's going... Ooh! It's quite nostalgic. Uh oh, I feel lack. I keep. I sense lag. That's lag. Give me this. No. Ah. Come on. Okay, I'm going back to the pistol version because the the rifle isn't doing me really good. Go back to the SC44C jump trooper. All right, let's go. Come on, guys. You can't get a single point. This can go on for an hour. And we don't want that. That would take way too long. And that would not be good at all, will it? I don't think so. That would be pretty damaging, if you ask me. That would be quite damaging. Because I do need a time limit for this game mode. And it is limited time, get it? <laughs> limited time game mode for, uh, for it to have a time limit or not have a time limit. Ah, that was a stupid joke. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? I mean, there shouldn't be, there should be a t time limit for jetpack cargo. But all the game modes in this game have no time limit. It's all based on spawn tickets or reinforcements, which I like, but um, sometimes you need the time limit if you're on a tight schedule, if that makes sense. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, man, that's horrible. All right. Let's get, let me spawn again. Why do I have to spawn all the way over here? I love this map, but uh. I wish that it wasn't so hard just to score a point with the cargo. This is going on forever. Ugh, no! Darn it! I jetpacked right before he blew me up. 
Gosh, that really sucks. That sucks. Alright, so, let's try again. Be careful, too. Don't you dare! Ah! This is so frustrating. Our team is super dumb. They're not scoring any points. Okay, I think I just... I DID IT AGAIN! <laughs> no! Darn it, I did it again. Come on, this is taking forever. Just to score one point. Can you guys score a point? Gosh, this is so stupid. Don't you dare. What? How did he kill me? Ah, that's stupid. And I spawn all the way over here again. Can my spawn, can my spawning place change? Because on Tatooine you were able to score, but why can't you score on Bespin? Ah. Oh yeah, let's fall in Cloud City. Can we have that map for Galactic Assault? Cloud City does have a high chance of returning for a Galactic Assault map from Bespin. Because we don't have Bespin for Galactic Assault. We only have it for Heroes vs. Villains, Blast, and Jetpack Cargo. Oh, this is great. Just great. Don't you dare! Ugh. Come on, where's that jump trooper? Come on, where's he at? And where's our cargo? Hey! This guy who has the cargo over here that says defend, get it to our ba get it to our base! What are you doing? Come on! What? <laughs> he fell out of the map! <laughs> Bye, Josh7012. Wait, oh, where's the cargo? Wait, what? How'd it get over here? Did they seriously reset the spawn again? Ah! Come on, guys, score the cargo! This is taking forever. Just for one match. Hurry up. Let me come help this guy then. And why are we all females? Just. <sighs> That's like. I just want my customization, which is coming in April, by the way. Because I want to be a 501st clone trooper. And. Come on, dude. It's right there. Come on. I'm helping you here. Hey, 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 get back. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Come on, let's go, you're right there. No! No, get... Yes! Come on, pick it up, hurry up! Yes! Ha <laughs> No! Yes, I got it! Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome, I got the cargo! But that was only one. But I got it, that's awesome. But let's get that one. Keep we have two more to go before we can win. But nice. Alright, we have it again. Let me help. I need to get to that guy up there so I can escort him like how I escorted the last dude on our team. Don't you dare. Gotcha. Okay, guys. Don't worry. I got your backs. Over there. Oh, come on! Seriously? Sorry if my voice is cracky, or I hope you guys don't think I'm annoying, because I don't want to be. And I'm not supposed to be annoying. I'm supposed to be cool. Come on. Ah! What the hell? <laughs> Look, my leg! <laughs> my leg! It was glitching through the ceiling. That was funny, though. Oh, no. Oh, that's just great. Well, uh, as long as the game ends, well, I don't really care what other. I really don't care whose team wins at this point. 
But this is just great. Because I just want to get that cargo. Alright, come on. Alright, it's over. It's where is it at? We need to go attack that person over there. Just don't let them. Oh! Do the elevators work? From the last game? You guys don't remember in the last game, people were able to hide in these elevators. We can't? Oh man, looks like there's no way of getting in the elevators. That stunks. Or that stinks. Or that stunk. Not stunks. <laughs> well, that's great. Let's get this guy. Don't you dare. No! <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, what? Wee, I'm going to the Cloud City. <laughs> That's horrible. Just fall and hit the ground in Cloud City. That would hurt. If that was the case. But I just hope we get, um... Can we get the cargo? God, this is hectic. Oh, great! Take that! Yes, got him. Ah! God, I hate that so much. I hate that so much when someone can just rocket launcher you from above and kill you instantly if they get it an impact or they get a clean shot on you, then that's just irritating. But, um, I wonder if it's more annoying versus Battlefront 2015. But in Battlefront 2015, the rocket launchers used to be named Smart Rockets, which I did not like. It felt really childish or um, automatic. Oh, that's just great. But uh, in this game, they're just called Rocket Launcher. As you can see right there where I died, it said what I got killed by. Rocket Launcher, not Smart Rocket. But the Smart Rocket in the last game, or the Smart Rocket, yeah, it was way too overpowered but the last game used a power-up system which I hate because it was really childish and it's not Mario Kart Mario Kart is with item boxes not Battlefront but this game plays better how a Star Wars game is supposed to play ah oh, no come on <laughs> I just went ah and then fell out of the map. That's horrible. That's kind of funny though. It's like when I venture in uh, our very first arcade episode together when he was a B2 RP rocket droid and just jetpacked out of the map. That was great. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> oh crap. Come on. I keep doing that. <laughs> I keep jetpacking myself out of the map. That's just great. Alright. Oh man, just love hearing the cloud cars go, ooh, or zooming by. Ooh. I don't remember. Were the, did the cloud cars ever do that in Battlefront 2015? Because people weren't allowed to play as cloud cars on the administrator's palace map. Ooh, we got one. But we were on Cloud City and... Just Cloud City? Really? Was it just Cloud City? For when we got to play Sabotage? We got to ride the cloud car? It might have been just uh, Cloud City. I don't recall any other Galactic... Or no. Walker Assault map from Battlefront 2015 allowing you to ride cloud cars besides Cloud City. It might have been... No, Administrator's Palace didn't have cloud cars. Neither did Bionic... Sabotage was a game mode that was, like, both small and big at the same time. And I liked Sabotage for that Bespin playlist. Because Bespin... Anyone... Or... Bespin was very popular in Battlefront 2015. It was one of the biggest DLCs ever, ever added to the game. And it was personally one of my favorites. But I, I prefer the Death Star DLC from Battlefront 2015. Because it fixed the flying for... How it worked in Battlefront 2015. And we got the best heroes ever added. Chewbacca and Bosk. From the Death Star DLC in the previous game. 
but then Bespin had the most content from a DLC. And I love the way Bespin played. It just, um, you had one... This is a forgotten mode from 2015, which is Fighter Squadron. Pretty sure everybody hated that game mode in Battlefront 2015, including myself, because flying was awful in that game. Everyone would constantly lock onto you, and uh, it was just a total crap storm of a system, how flying worked in that game. Because every evasive maneuvers, how you trigger emotes, is just really stupid. And then once you used your evasive maneuver when it's on cooldown, you're dead. Which is just fantastic. Oh no! Gosh darn. Hey, can I go to Cloud City? It's down there. <laughs> That's just great. Come on guys, we're winning. You can get that last car going, we win the game. Hurry up. Protect the cargo carrier. Ooh, I got scared there. I thought I was gonna fall off when my jetpack button wasn't working. Alright, come on, jetpack. Don't you dare! Woo! That was close. This is working. Did you just... I was about to say, did he fall out of the map? No! No, it was so close! Come on, hurry up. Oh yeah, and also the, in this new patch, the Leia Hoff skin is live. The challenge is for, to unlock Princess Leia's Hoff skin, which is cool. Oh, that's great. Again? And I just screamed, go, ah! Or she just screamed and then fell off again. That was funny. But I need to stop jetpacking myself out of the map, because that's just retarded. Uh, was this here in Battlefront 2015? I don't remember this being sunken in. It might be just me or they changed it. Who knows? Oh, and guys, I also remember in Battlefront 2015, since how the star card system was in that game, everyone had a jetpack and they were always jetpacking on top of this where I'm shooting or where I'm looking at up here. And they would always guard the generator or... I forgot what they were sabotaging or... Um, Shield generators or something? There was B was in this area, and uh, people would always camp it and make the rebels lose. Which was kind of quite a pain in Battlefront 2015, but sabotage I don't see returning for this game. One DLC game mode I loved was just hands down extraction. Everyone loves extraction. And another one of my favorites was uh it was a uh, battle station from the Death Star DLC because I loved the second phase in Battle Station where you got to play as R2D2 and uh, you were able to to escort him out of the Death Star, which was the funnest part of the whole game mode of Battle Station, which I loved. But then we have uh, infiltration. I didn't like it all. That was just trash. I didn't like the the game mode that came in the Rogue One Scarif DLC. Or Rogue One was my least favorite DLC of the four that released for the game, or the four expansion packs for Battlefront 2015. I didn't really like Scarif because it introduced two of the worst heroes for the whole game. Jiren Erso and Director Krennic. Just those heroes stunk. They were too weak. Oh, we done it! We won! Yay! And I got fourth place. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Jet of Star Wars Battlefront 2 online gameplay and uh, Jetpack Cargo on Bespin. That was special. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and, and please leave a like if you enjoyed, and share the video if you really liked it, and because it helps me out a lot and lets you know I do like my content, and subscribe if you're new and around. But, and also, look, comment below if you want to see more videos like this, and... Uh, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.